up guys, welcome back to the final hour here on Roleplay D&D week 35, I think that's right, I hope that's right. 35. 35, okay, good. Um, time to retire. Time to retire? <laughs> no, that's years, that's years old. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm 35 years old. Either. Exactly. Exactly. All right, what, what's going on? You guys have dragged your friends out of the snow. You're all a little bit cold and shivering from the close encounter with the dragon. The dragon is also totally blocking the pass. I mean, I guess you could theoretically climb over the dragon. Uh, yeah. I guess we would do that. Okay, so you climb over the dragon. Yeah, um, sounds you good can't to really me. Climb, well, you can climb over the dragon. You couldn't take your horses over the dragon. Could we make a path through the dragon? How big is the dragon? The dragon? He's not that big. I thought they were it not was, that big. It was an adult dragon. Yeah, I got two shots in the other one. That big of a dragon. <laughs> Can I collect this, like, a teeth or two? The body is 50 feet long. Okay. So is there, like, a spot on its tail or something that we could maybe chop through or... So well, it's just like... kind of like... It was, lo- like, crouched on the path longwise, so tail would be way back at the end. It's like taking mm. up the width of the path. Well, then I guess we have to leave a horse spine. I mean... Mm. I would just tie mine. If it's facing that way and it takes up the whole path, we're not going to cut it to pieces. That would take a month. What if we, like, push the dragon like, off the road? Mm, I don't think we could. We have enough strength to push the dragon. I mean, we could try. Body. Well, if we I tie... usually laugh at your ideas, and then they turn out to be pretty correct. So, okay, <laughs> Neil, we <laughs> lean into the dragon and begin to push it. All together. All, All together. together now. Okay, the four of you bracing yourselves against a wall, trying to push a 50-foot dragon. Although Sounds it stupid. <clears throat> it does sound ridiculous. However, no, no, it, no. It here's is, what it is. I, here's oh. what it is, Neil. Here's what it is, Neil. Because we... Um, of because we have, uh, he's all the way up against the wall. Can we put our feet into the wall and our hands at the dragon, and we're pushing out like a swimmer would against the wall? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do like that, and so we're using our legs. So Azrael's, a- Azrael's like, look, I'm with you, <laughs> but I can't physically do that. <laughs> it's just like twerking, dude. All you got to do is get up. I understand that, and I'm like, but these aren't the same as those, and I'm pointing at my legs to your legs. <laughs> okay, so... Okay. Well, he's only like 5'3", can... so it's not actually that what much if, What if we give, like, something to make a lever to Azrael so he can, like, do this? I, I, what are we doing this for again? <laughs> our horses. So we can bring our horses. I don't oh. know, everyone, give me, um, give me a strength check, everyone. Woo! I don't understand Everyone's that together. we don't have our horses. I'm with this idea now. I got a 34. 25. 20. 21. Okay. You guys heave and a haw, and, mm, and you manage to slide part of the dragon a little bit forward. You theorize that if you guys work together, it would take you a while, but in theory, with enough effort, you might be able to slide the dragon off the cliff. It, Just it might out of take... the way so horses can get by. It doesn't have to be off the cliff. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, in effect, like once once it's a big enough path for the horses to get across, the whole dragon would slide off the cliff. How long are we talking, Neil, do you think? We're talking like an hour and a half. Neil, could we speed up the process if instead of me doing this, I'm on the other side digging underneath the dragon Yes. to yes, have them... Speed up the process quickly. Let's do that. Are you except, serious? Except I'm not on the other... Like, when they push on the other side, I'm out of the way. Oh, okay. Sorry, that's... So I'm was, like, I, I don't want to get crushed by the dragon. I was about you getting killed by pushing a dragon. <laughs> no, 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 no. And thus ends the life of Azrael. <laughs> <laughs> could, we, could we cut that hour down to minutes or 30 minutes or something like that if I'm making it so they don't have to push as far because then it kind of slides down off the mountain? Uh, I mean, you can probably shave off a few minutes that way. A few. What if we use like things to like make a lever? 
So what, what if we tie oh, the dragon to the donkeys and we throw oh them? Oh my god. <laughs> throw, tie the dragon to the donkeys and throw the donkeys off the cliff? Yeah. What donkeys? Oh, that's true. There's no more. Crap. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Let's throw the, it I with the horses. <laughs> killed all the donkeys. <laughs> okay. So, do you guys spend a few hours to get the dragon out of your way so you can take yeah, your you horse? Yeah, you about an hour. If it's horses might be hour, useful, so. so I think we should do it. Yeah, if it's yeah, about an hour, I think okay. we should. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys spend about an hour, and eventually you manage to like push the dragon out of the way enough. Um, and, you know, once the tail goes off the edge, the whole dragon just like starts to slide with it. And the whole thing Bye -bye. into the, the river below. Bye-bye, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Dragon. Okay. Then we continue onward. Yeah, on you guys horse. continue onward. Time uh, of day. Wait, sorry. How much did you heal when you rolled your HP? You rolled 3d8, right? 14, and then you add 3, so 17 on top of 12. Okay. What? Oh, you're doing Vincent's uh, yeah, HP? Yeah, I just want to get Vincent's HP. It's 29. Gotcha. Um, so the rest of the day, you managed to get almost all the way to the top of the mountain. You can see where the path uh, evens out and like kind of hits the peak, but you can also see that there is a very crude watchtower built up there um, out of boulders. And like there's a, a small like pile of boulders that kind of form a tower and there's like a little wood uh, roof on top of it. We see Horace pull out a spyglass and ask him if there's anyone in the watchtower. What spy? Who's got a spyglass? I did get a spyglass. <laughs> did you really? No, wait. You I, had a spyglass at I the tower that was returned to them. Did I return it, though? It was never said that I returned it. it if you didn't return it, they would have asked for it back before you left. Denied it. Should have. At, at the time, it was made very clear <laughs> that they said, you know, <coughs> this is temporary, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Could I have just said it was lost in battle or some some such. I wish we had role-played it at the time. Yeah. We'll say I don't have it. Yeah. It would have been awesome. I could have tried to steal it. <laughs> okay, so we see this watchtower. Was that bigger with the spyglass anyway? Yeah, it was bigger. That's, that's funny. Yeah. Anyways. See this watchtower we kind of pointed out. Uh, are we far enough where... Like, are we behind something where they would see us? Or... <laughs> Do we see this thing and get kind of freaked out that we've been spotted? Oh, well, you, you come around. To, give me perception checks, actually. Perception checks, everyone. Twenty-seven. I'm still 25. staring at the ground. Uh, yeah. By the time you guys see it, you've been kind of walking for a little bit. So, in th like, they could have spotted you already, or they might not have spotted you. It's one of those like. Oh shit! That's actually a watchtower. At first, it looked like a pile of rocks. Now, now I understand what it is. But no alarm has been raised. You haven't heard anything or seen any movements. Okay. So, but what so you will. what's the landscape right now? There's just a watchtower, and that's it, or is there yeah, like but that's walls? Way, that's way up ahead. Um, you're on a, a winding path. It start, It's getting less and less windy, and the grade is getting uh, less and less steep. Okay, so we still need to, like, finish up the path before we can do any decision on where to go. You can always turn back. You can always jump off the cliff. How what is this? Is said a house, you said? It's kind of like a, a large pile of boulders to get some thing. elevation with a, a crude little roof built on top of it. I just walk up to it. Yeah. Okay, it, it's some distance in front of you. Well, We're I'm talking, talking like towards hundreds it. of yards, yeah. Okay. The rest of you? Yeah, just following Vincent. Behind Vincent, yes. Okay. The sun starts to go down as you crest the mountain. Or I get to the crest of the mountain. And you see the watchtower. Uh, the roof of the watchtower actually just like slams into the, the rocks on your side. So there's not even a good lookout place to go back this way uh, from on the watchtower. Like, the roof is built into this side of the rocks. Okay. Uh, at this point, the watchtower is 40 feet in front of you, and, you know, the road kind of just, like, goes up to it. There's a little bit of a hill that you'd have to climb, and then you get to the rocks. And where do the... we see anyone actually in the watchtower keeping watch? No. As I said, like, the roof blocks the view from this side. 
Oh, so right. think of it actually as like a pile of rocks with like a, a lean to on top of it, looking out this way, but you guys are approaching from this way. Okay, mm -hmm. so I just assume they can't see us anyways, and I'm just kind of walking up to it still. Okay. You climb up the little uh, hillside that gets right up to the base of the rocks. Now you're just five large rocks away from the from entering the tower. Yeah, I'm just going to do my best to try and enter. Uh, you start scrambling up the rocks. I guess the rest of the party is in tow behind them. You've all dismounted your horses. Pretty Could much I try here. to climb the tower as yeah. they're going in the stairs? Well, you have to climb the tower. There are no stairs. Oh. Well, how like, are they getting in the tower? You climb up the rocks. As so I everyone's said, just it's climbing? Very, it's a really crude watchtower. It's like oh. hastily assembled. Okay, well, I'll try to come from a... Okay, whatever, then I'll just go with them. Okay. She so has you guys to back attack the watchtower, right? Is it? <laughs> Did she I was trying over to the position of myself <laughs> to, like, another angle, but I don't know if it's, it would do anything. Okay. Um, you are climbing up the tower, and as you do so, you kind of look over to the other side of the mountain, and you see that there is a small encampment uh, based below. There's a bunch of tents and some fire is burning, and it looks like there are some ogres and orcs walking about. Some meaning how many? How many, yeah. Half a dozen ogres, three times that many in orcs. They're below us, you said? Yeah, because you guys have gotten to the like crest of the mountain, right? And the watchtower is like, seated on top of it. And then down below, there's uh, a little bit... It's not that far below you, maybe 150 feet. There is a small encampment. How big are these? So Go ahead, this so. tower is empty, and we're just looking out of it, right? No, this is like all while you're climbing up the tower. You notice okay. this. You're not quite to the top. Um, a few more rocks, though. You know, just a few more handholds, and you poke your head inside, and there is an orc snoozing uh, against a couple of the rocks with a crossbow, like that's cocked and ready. And there's the, just there's just, there's out, just like, one. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ice so I'm gonna do throw. no. That was my plan. Well, <laughs> you were getting a better angle at it, and then I just went and did it. <laughs> no, okay, Abby. Abigail, you can have this one. In, okay. in, in role play world, you would have been the silent assassin anyway. So go yeah, so I'll be like, Shh, and then I'll like silently move to him and take his throat. <laughs> okay, you kill him. He's dead. Thanks. <laughs> now, these people below us, like... How big are these rocks that they have built this tower on, Neil? These rocks are very large, so you don't think they could have been stacked here by anyone below. Are they... In terms of the people below us, if we were to push these rocks, could we push them off of this thing that we're on down to the people below? Perchance. Um, the rocks... So you've got this path that winds up, and the rocks, the rock tower is not on the path. It's beside the path. I should actually do it over here. So you'd have to like push it kind of sideways and then hope it rolls down the path into them. I kind of turn right. to the party and I'm like, do we want to engage this Guys, little army? Oh, yeah. We we're going to kill the shit out of them. We could, like, we're going to get more <laughs> noticed if we kill a whole army. Yeah. Like, the forces of Verasti might be looking for us after that. Your stream's not on Team Liquid, by the way, GP. Or it's not under the... Oh, did they take it off? That'd be funny. It's under the other notable streams, and then Roleplay is there, but it doesn't have your stream under it for some reason. Oh, that's weird. Uh, Abigail, you're right. We would get more noticed, but the other scenario is that we pass this group, come and cross someone else, and then we have an army to our back and now an adversary to our front. Standard military... Again, my friend... Mr. Zhu would say that we, sh we should eliminate this threat. Yeah, if we, I mean, it's only a handful and we could potentially push these rocks over and try to take out as many as possible, then engage. Is there uh, other watchtowers? Or just this one? Neil? This is just the one. Okay. Uh, here's my question. Do these, do these rocks look heavier or less heavy than a dragon? They look less heavy than a dragon. Less heavy than a dragon, okay. So feasibly we could maybe push it. Yeah. Okay, cool. I say, I say we push these rocks and then you guys rain down hell with fire. Or, or sorry. <laughs> rain down <laughs> hell with those arrows. 
with bow okay. and arrows. <laughs> and me and Vincent just sit here and cackle like power-hungry fools. It'll be awesome. Sounds great to me. Okay. Sure. They'll they'll All come right. after us. They won't run. So. Yeah. Well, we uh, gotta. Neil, with my understanding of rocks, because I'm a big rock guy, obviously. <laughs> uh, what it, could could we get the best possible way to like? If I study these this watchtower, can I understand what rocks have more supporting weight on it and whatnot, so that we could push it in the best possible way to f collapse on these people below? Yeah, sure. I'll give you that. Okay, I do that, and I'm like, push this one, and however, with however much force, and me and Vincent kind of go to do that. Okay, so here's my question. Are you looking to find the rock that is most easily, like, that you can most easily remove without collapsing the tower, or are you trying to find the rock that you can move that will collapse the most of the tower? I am trying to, or we are trying to hit as many of the orcs below, so I would assume we could potentially play Jenga with the rocks and remove as many of the rocks as possible so that they would collapse better on the army below. Does that make sense? Okay, so you want to remove a bunch of things and then remove a certain one so that everything falls. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you guys start pulling away at things, moving this here, moving that there, getting this loose but not quite removing it, blah, blah, blah. And then... With JP's like cunning, like, okay, we're going to do that and that and that. You get the final rock, and you guys heave, and you hem, and you haw, and you hoof, and you push, and it moves out of the way. And so that one is gone in a different direction. That one's not going to help you. Um, it rolls down the side of the mountain, and at the really loud noise of this large boulder moving, uh, you see some of the heads in the camp turn as the I tower wave. just collapses. Yeah, we're all on top. <laughs> <laughs> just like, starts hey rumbling guys. towards Boris, them. Abigail, fire at will. I will. Bring me my meal, please. <laughs> uh, JP, I need you to make, we're going to call this an attack roll with these rocks. Yeah. Uh, so give me a... Flat D20 or... D20 plus, what level are you? You are 7th Seven. level? Yeah. D20 plus 6. <laughs> 21, not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. The rocks tumble down and run right into the encampment. And just start rolling, like crushing over everything in there. They hit. Uh, Can I make the roll? See how many they Yeah, hit? yeah. Why don't you roll 2d6 for the number of orcs that get hit? <laughs> they only have four, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess they did some good Indiana Jones shit and got out oh, of the way. And give me, uh, give me a d2. On a, on a two, you hit one of the ogres. On a one, you do not hit an ogre. I don't have an ogre. Is not. This is not JP's brightest moment, guys. It hasn't been all episode long, but let's yeah. continue forward. Anyway, you do crush four orcs beneath the the tumbling rocks, and you destroy the the like basic basic wall that they had set up on the front side of the the encampment, like the downhill side of the encampment, that gets crushed, and some of their hut, you know, their their tents and their fires and everything gets smashed to bits. Quick question. Uh, if they wanted to climb up towards us, how long of a climb is it? Three rounds. Three rounds of climbing. Okay. Yeah. So you guys have three rounds Fire of arrows. free shots. So do they all start coming after us, Neil? Oh, yeah. They all okay, so then I, I kind of slowly walk to get a better footing and uh, pull out Harbinger and shield up and just wait for him. Okay. And I say, Horace, Abigail, give him hell. <clears throat> okay. Um, by the way, Neil, are there other rocks that could be pushed down to? That was my god either... damn it! Shoot your fucking boat. Okay. Horse. I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> I will make my attack rolls now. The elves would like to ask. <laughs> T twenty plus. Uh, do I get any bonuses Jen, for climbing muted, up a I hill think. or anything like that? No. No. Okay. T twenty plus eleven. Twenty nine. Uh, what are you shooting at? The first thing, the closest thing coming up the hill, okay. whatever it is. Closest thing is an ogre. Okay, oh, an, an ogre. Yeah, an ogre. So, uh, uh, is that so a you crit roll then? a 29, and it's a crit. It's probably a double crit. I just don't remember ogre. You see off the top of my head. I think it's He's five. Dead 15. Anyways. I think they are 15. They are indeed 15. So we so have crit, ogres double and... crit, double Orcs. crit the ogre. 3d8. 12. 12. 
So we have ogres and what? Orcs. <laughs> and which ones are the strongest? Ogres. Ogres are nine feet okay. tall. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for ogres. Okay. Uh, you hit for twelve. Plus one. Okay. It's a perfectly uh, average roll, by the way. Yeah. Right for fucking horse. Um. Was the uh? Oh, roll for death on that ogre, by the way. Good oh, call. True, true. true. <laughs> He's fine. Okay, okay, Abigail, shoot. Oh well, no, he gets a second shot. Second. Yeah, yeah second, second shot. The ogre's still alive. Yes. Totally. Nineteen. Oops. Hit. Hit. Damage. Six. Six. All right. <coughs> Abigail. I'm gonna shoot at the ogre. If I do a called shot, would what does that change again? Uh, penalty to hit, but then if you critical, you get critical effects on the target that you wanted to hit. The section that you wanted to hit. How much do I lose for called shot? It's a big dude, so it might be easier. I don't know. Called shot what? For the head of the ogre. I would give you, at this range, I'd give you minus three to hit at the head. I'll try. Okay. 22. Hit. 22. Uh, you hit. You do not crit. But in his face? Yes. So Funny what thing, does that do? had you actually not taken the minus 3 to hit, you would have critical him. Aww. But now I shoot went, his went face. For broke. Now you shoot his face. Go ahead. Roll his damage. D6 so plus 2. 6 plus 2. Yeah. 3. <laughs> <laughs> Abigail damage. I wanted to try it. We never so he's missing an ear. Stuff. Should try. Never stop trying. So it doesn't do anything to shoot his face? Um, if you get a critical effect, then the critical, uh, the critical effect table is automatically on the face. But if you're going to do that, I would recommend doing a, what do you call it? Wait, um, isn't the AC of the head zero? There's no armor there, is there? Or uh, 10? Yeah, but the ogre arm, uh, AC doesn't come from armor. It comes from, like, thick hide, like, really thick skin and ah. natural agility. Gotcha. All right, that's the first round of shooting. So no, no, no. I, I start, can I throw rocks at these people? <laughs> yeah, you can tumble a small rock towards them on your own. Okay, Vincent, you want to help me, or are you just going to stand there? I just stand there. Okay, I got my, my sword roll. and shield out. D20 plus stuff. 6? Uh, yeah, D20 plus 6. 19. 19. You roll this rock down at this ogre. It, I say small, but it's you know, like a... about yay big. Yeah. You, know, you tumble it down the hill with the ogre. Roll for damage with the tumbling rock. D8. So, okay, just D8. 2. <laughs> Two. Hey, that's less damage than me! <laughs> you pull Brock right into his leg. And he goes, ow! And keeps coming up at the hill at you. Uh, second round. Uh, everyone do your things. Who, who's rolling? 28! Ooh! That's what the called, called shot head's going in. No, yeah, that one was a called shot. God damn it. <laughs> I should have done it. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'll do it this time. Uh... Crit, double crit. 2d6 plus Should be good for at least oh, 6 no, damage. Oh, no, 3d6, yeah. 19! Whoa! Oh, Whoa. Nice. Yeah, you shoot the shit out of that ogre. He is dead. Like, two deader than death. Like, like, five. Da, 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 da. Mm hmm Okay. So, Boom! Uh, What's up, ooh. fucking rock pusher extraordinaire <laughs> over here? <laughs> I played Minecraft, motherfucker. What am I doing with this? Damn. Okay, that rolls right into an orc. Uh... And that's, I guess, a double Boys crit against squish. the orc as well. It's like 2d8, right? So he can't possibly... 3d8? Well, I guess he could. No, he could. 3D8. Yeah, well, 3d8 against your little orc Fucking friend. Fucking get hit for 11! Yeah, you crush the orc. Um, roll another d20 plus 2. Fucking 15! Yeah, he rolls into the orc below him. Roll d8 to hit uh, for damage. Oh, shit! Fucking 2 damage! What's up, son? <laughs> he chipped his toenail. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's slightly Ow, wounded. shit! All right, uh, not trigger. Horus. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, what is the nearest thing to me now? An orc. Okay. Let's go for an orc. Do it. Oh my Ooh. god! god. <laughs> Murder. Like, what's going <laughs> on? <laughs> Roll it, Murder. Like, I just like this picture of Vincent what standing there with <laughs> sword and shield, and everyone's just like oh. so oh. average that damage. Roll. <laughs> Look at this guy. Forest man. Who's hey, pretty good for him. death? If he's not dead, I guess. No, he's dead. Oh, he's it was dead. an orc. That's right. Now you popped him, man. He's 
Okay. Okay, take your second shot. Uh, yeah. Clearly what's happened. Ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Are you checks? D20 plus 11, yeah. I That's mean, correct. Why aren't we doing that on dragons? <laughs> like, why do we use that on orcs? Because you can't shoot from underground, Abigail. Yeah, Go well, ahead. You're 48 again to kill another orc. Oh. It was is so I was shooting at the next thing closest to me. Is that another work? Yeah. If he's all ones, then he somehow lives. I guess possibly. No, he's yeah. no, dead. Dead. All right. Um, third round. Third round. Uh, go for it. And then after this round, they'll roll initiative. Okay. So, can I shoot at the um, the big dudes? Ogre. Yeah, you can shoot the ogre. Are they coming our way? Yeah. Right. Oddly, they're running towards the sky. <laughs> okay, I still want to go for the called shot. I'm going for it. For his head. Oh, we're getting yeah. cocky now. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? That's like four perfect 20s, man. Dude, um, what? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so you guys kill the camp. <laughs> What are these crits? This is ridiculous. Crit him. I want to crit his head. Yeah, you, you did. Just, you crit him in the face. Roll, roll the hit. Roll, roll the damage. Three d six plus two. No, forty six. Six plus two. Eighteen. Yeah, yeah you pin him to the ground behind him with the arrow and just. And it's an ogre. It's not an orc. It's like the big dudes. Yeah, she said ogre. Said ogre? Okay, hold on. It doesn't necessarily kill him. I thought you said orc. Um, yeah. I she did say ogre. Okay, I, miss, I was not paying enough attention. Clearly. My poor neighbors. It's like midnight. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, that totally kills an ogre. No. No. Oh my god, I one shot an ogre. You one shot an ogre. Like... <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Azrael, Bregor, or fucking Horus. Go ahead, Horus. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Neil said you kill the whole camp. Are you sarcastic? Or I, you... I kind of just want to let you guys just kill the whole camp. I mean, this is what? One, two... Well, how many more ogres are there? Those are the guys that could do something, basically. Yeah. That's it's a lot five of 20s. 20s in a There's row. There's like four more ogres, right? Only two have died? Uh, there, right. Yeah, there's, there's four ogres left. Four ogres and then, like, what? Ten orcs or something? Yeah, like 15. Yeah. Let us, let us play it out. Yeah. And then okay. when I die, we can go back in time and say we <laughs> saved here, and it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Roll, so... of course. Roll the hit. Uh, Wait, yeah, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for an ogre here. Okay. Sixteen. Sixteen is a hit. Aww. I had to stop somewhere, guys. Their AC three. is fifteen, guys. Yeah. I'm still sad. Oh, shoot so again. Shoot again. Away. We could do this faster. <laughs> hit. Seven. There you go. Ten you total. Ten damage. total. All right. Dead. As drop some stones on this. Is he really dead? Ten damage no, to an no. ogre. No. Sorry. No. Not dead. That yeah, I, I was gonna say. One hit that removed. Hit. Is it another hit. D eight? Just one? Yep, yep. yep. It's another D eight. Six. He didn't uh, discriminate what that was going to, so I guess. First in line, and that would kill the orc that is first in line. Wouldn't that if if they're climbing up here, that would knock back anything behind him, would it not, if he's falling? Uh depending on how I mean like for the first one that you hit, like you crushed him, and the rock just kept tumbling. This is the sort of thing where the the orc is like, uh, and the like rock crushes into him, but then loses a lot of its momentum, so that as like it rolls to the next guy, the next guy can like get out of the way in time. Gotcha. Like it's not like, you know, crushing. Uh, next person. It's initiative That's time. It. That's it. Okay, initiative time. I want to do it. I want to do it. Go for it. Nice. Whoa. Yo. Abigail with the hot dice. I was like, I need to get rid of the ones. They're coming. <laughs> All right, Neil. I start uh, wading into them. And uh, I do, like, the, the badass boss thing where I start walking towards an ogre. So, like, if I'm walking past an orc, I'll let it... Let it get an attack of opportunity yep. on you? All right. Uh, first orc gets an attack of opportunity on you, misses. Second orc gets an attack of opportunity, misses. Okay, so I walk up to the first ogre... Is he D12 if I get to that point, by the well, way? Yes. He's, 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 yeah, so D20 plus 13. Yes. Only 16 is a hit. Only D12 a hit. D12 plus 8. He takes 15. That is enough to kill him. That's the one that Breger shot. Okay. So Not he drops. Is there another ogre? We need ogre to turn on our cameras again, by the way. Yeah. We did. Is there an ogre next to me? Uh, there is not. The 
the remaining, what is it, two ogres at this point mm. uh, are further back in camp. All right, yeah, then I just chop. A sea of orcs, yeah. I chopped down a, an orc that tried to, to hit me. Okay, roll to hit. 19, he's gone. Dead. Crushed the orc. Oh, I should have cleaved, but too late. Yeah. Okay, guys, your turn. Whoop, whoop. So Abigail is super inspired. She's going to keep shooting the big guys with headshots because she thinks she's rocking it. Okay. It's not working this time. It's not working. <laughs> she's That's not enough. rocking it. Okay. Uh, I'm attacking the the uh, ogre that I did 10 damage to. It he died. just died. Oh, it's it just died. Sorry. I'm attacking a different ogre that's there. Okay, it's, they're further down the line. They're not as threatening. There's like a sea of orcs and then the ogres at the back. Okay, I'll attack an orc then. Yeah. 13. Yeah, uh, four times damage total. I mean, 48. Murder. Okay. And second shot. Three times damage. Murder? <laughs> Murder? Double. Double homicide, okay. No, and do, as, <coughs> do I get a higher uh, <laughs> d20 plus on Footman's Mace, or is it higher <laughs> on the dragon weapon? It's plus seven for both, or, or something, right? Yeah, you're, you're proficient in both, I believe, or close enough. I'm Warhammer and Mace are... Oh, you're proficient in both. So it's the exact same attack roll. No, Crawl Fort is plus four. Your Footman's Mace is only plus three. So then it's plus eight for Crawl Fort? Yes, sir. Okay. 26. Triple damage. Was that 3D? No, that's... 3D4 plus... Isn't it 2D4, so it's 6D4? Not on Crawl Fort. Crawl Fort is D4 plus 1 against medium creatures. So it'd be 3D4 plus 3 plus 4, so 3D4 plus 7. Okay. Which is a kill. Damn. Yeah. Is it? Okay. It, it's <laughs> like, I rolled pretty <laughs> shit here. <laughs> they have maximum 8 HP, so... Okay. You guys crush the first, like, the wave that comes at you with ease. Um, the the enemy's turn. The orcs surrounding, like, fully close in around Vincent. You guys know the scene in, the opening scene in Lord of the Rings, where you've got uh, Sauron, gets Sauron surrounded, and yeah. there's, like, a sea of fighters around him, and he just, like, brings them all down with a hammer. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of what we're looking at here, except in reverse, where it's the sea of orcs surrounding Vincent. Well, for now, it's in reverse. Vincent has to attack still. Well, he still leaves 360 in one shot. Still. Yeah, and he starts <laughs> using the whirlwind from Diablo 2 and kills them all. Yes. Uh, That's what the plan. It's Vincent. One gets through? <laughs> one gets through. One rolls well. He's, like, super proud. <laughs> you take I hit him, guys. Two damage. Two? You are 27. Okay. He's like, aha, I got My turn? this. <laughs> uh, initiative turn. Oh, Vincent, uh, you uh, roll that. Yeah, I'll roll. Yeah. Nice. Party goes first. All right, I cleave. So that's going to be d20 plus 11, because it's minus two for the first one, right? Right. 13, which is bad, is but a hit? hit. It's a hit. We're only wearing uh, leather. D8 plus eight. I mean, he's dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. So that's the first one dead. Then I do d20 plus... So this is a cleave. So the next one will be plus nine, because it's minus another two. Yeah. So that one dies. Dies. It's critical. So then I do another one, and it's now at plus seven, and he dies because that was a nineteen. Okay, and this is the fourth one. This is the most that I'm allowing you to like. You <laughs> don't have the full energy to go through any more after this. Seventeen. Yeah. So four die there. So um, you just cleave your way through four orcs in a blow. And now my next attack. Right. <laughs> <laughs> orcs left standing next to you at this point. How like many? The rest of a little bit further away. There are only three, like within shot of you. Okay. The rest of you have to like walk towards. Twenty. So that one dies. D Jeez. twenty plus nine. That one dies. D Jesus. twenty plus seven. That one dies. No, that that's a miss. So the leather is a miss. Is it? A AC thirteen. Their AC was ten. Oh, it's thirteen. No, they're okay. AC thirteen. You actually missed the last one. Uh, parties. <laughs> Here's a question, Neil. Do we have any way to um? Can the archers cleave somehow? Can the archers do a two for one? Yeah, what if they're in uh, a row? Can we okay. like super strength it? I will say if if you have multiple guys like in a row one after another, 
and you you overkill by a certain amount. Like if you hmm, how how do should we do that? You have to go all the way through the body and out the other side to keep hitting something. And you guys did that once with the horses, if you remember, yeah. way way back when. Brago loss. Oh yeah, yeah, we've done that. Yeah, I just don't remember the, how I determined. I think you just had like rolled obscenely well. Yeah. Right. Um, and in this last cleave, I didn't hear, like yeah. the one where I killed four. That twenty six, maybe you could say that that was one because it's a double crit. Yeah. But in the second set, it was a nineteen and uh, a twelve or something like that. So it's yeah. fine. Yeah, so let's say if you can um, if you not only kill a creature, but kill it and do, like, kill it by five or more, then you can <laughs> make an attack roll at the creature behind it. Okay. okay. But at, we're at, like, a minus four or something. Or like a so minus. I'll attack uh, the nearest no, I think Vincent, after I see him do that, I'm going for an ogre, not an orc. Okay. How many ogres are left? Two. Twenty-five. Hit. Critical. Two d eight. Single. Two d eight. Fourteen. <laughs> and if that Bill is a critical, it's got to roll for death unless it's dead. Um. So Fourteen. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Okay. It does not die. Save versus death. Save versus death is a pass. Okay. Right. Second okay. shot. Attack the same one, yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 19. Hit. Hit. Two. Oh. Barely noticed. Abigail. Okay. Um. I'll shoot at the ogre. And I'm gonna do a cold shot hit again, because I'm liking it. It's fun. <laughs> same one that, uh, not Brigger is fighting? Yeah, Horus. Actually, like, <laughs> he damaged him quite a bit, so I'm gonna go for the damage. He's <coughs> D20 plus 8. I'm gonna do normal shot on the dude. 16. Hit. hit. Nice, good call, because I would have missed. Mm -hmm. 6 plus 2. 4. Just enough to kill him. Literally mm. puts him at 0. And I'm like, yep, yep, that's, uh, that's what's up. <laughs> Asriel, <laughs> there is one orc left standing next to Vincent. <laughs> Oh, that orc's getting fucked on. <laughs> Come up from behind it, since it was the orc standing behind. D20 oh. plus 10, then? Yeah. Or plus 11, because it's plus uh, 8? Plus 2 on top of whatever your normal attack is. Plus 2, so, so 10. 10. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what the Boy, fuck? dead. Damage, max damage, it's dead. <laughs> what is max damage? 44? 44 plus 8, after everything's done and told. 18. Yeah. So is there just one ogre left, or is there other uh, orcs so as well? There's one ogre and three orcs. All right. And then they, I... oh, it's their turn. Hold on, it's their turn. Yeah. They turn and run the other way. Right. So I'm I'm going to run them down the hill. The ogre runs as well. Oh fuck yeah! Really? Okay. If you uh, were an ogre, saw what he just saw, would you run? No. <laughs> Good question though. Not Vincent. <laughs> Vincent, Vincent would the have ogre. Run. Uh, were they close enough for an attack of opportunity or no? Those were the ones that were no, just close no. to me. Like you had killed everyone within arm's reach of you already. Okay. <coughs> then I just kind uh, of run after him down the hill. Okay. Um, they run as if the whips of their masters. Can we try right to? Can we try to shoot them as they run? Yeah, they'll get shots. Yeah, you guys get shots. Yeah, you got you archers can shoot at them as they run. So I'm gonna go with the the ogres again. Mm -hmm. uh, so would I know if I hit the leg, would it make him fall forward? If you if I do a cold shot, call do don't do a cold shot. Do a what do we call it? A crushing blow? Is that the name that we gave that? Yeah. Hamstring or something. Shot. Make a cold shot at the leg, and if you hit, you do half damage, but it's an auto critical. In which case, then you roll on the critical table, and he's likely possible for him to trip or fall or something. I'm gonna do that. I wanna make him trip. Okay. So what's this? Disabling shot? shot. Thank you, chat. Disabling shot. So what's for disabling shot? D20 plus? Usually uh, I have eight, let's, but there's uh, back attack. So it'd be eight plus two for back attack, right? Yeah, so ten, yeah. So it'd be ten, and then it's a called shot leg, which would just be minus two, so D20 plus eight. Oh. Miss? Miss. 
I'm like, Horace, you should try to shoot his leg to make him fall. <laughs> so I hear Abigail say that. Uh -huh. And I and I nod to her in acknowledgement. But I but just take doesn't. but I just take a regular shot. <laughs> so he's he's learning the group very quickly then. <laughs> Roll to hit. Uh, I love this. Fifteen. Hit. <clears throat> this is unfair. What's unfair? Life. <laughs> he got two plus thirteen and he still hits. <laughs> I got three and I fail. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, second shot. How much did you do? Four? Four. Okay, second shot. 17. Hit. Eight. Dead. He literally rolled three threes, or three ones and a three on his life. Wow. <laughs> Weakest ogre ever. <laughs> Neil, as this is all happening, like, we are just fucking destroying an entire army, basically. I wouldn't call it an army. I a, would call a large group of creatures, right? Uh, I would think that Azrael... Or, this is what happens. Azrael's basically impressed with himself. So much so that he screams, Fuck you, Quantarius! I don't need your fucking powers. And then he goes off to attack something else. <laughs> Whatever that is. Okay. Um, there are <laughs> Neil, two... Neil, this is really important. It hasn't <laughs> happened in weeks. As he says that, I plunge Harbinger into the ground. I pull out my glove. I pull off my glove. Oh, God. 